Hello guys. So this is a small video that is only meant to describe to you the differences between primary, secondary, tertiary actions. All right. So what is meant by a primary, secondary, tertiary action? So when any muscle acts on the eyeball, right? It moves the eyeball in different planes or in different axes, right? So especially your four muscles. That is your superior rectus, inferior rectus, superior oblique and inferior oblique. They act on the eyeball moving it in the three axes that is described as the X, Y and Z axis. Right. For example, if you talk about superior rectus, you know that the primary action of superior rectus is elevation. So when it acts on the eyeball, most of the movement would be an elevatory movement. Okay, it will move the eyeball up. So that will mean it is acting on this plane or this axis. And when I say secondary action, that is in torsion, it means it's rotating the eyeball a little bit inward along this axis, along this axis, right? A little bit. And the least amount of movement that it is going to do is a little bit of adduction, right? We're talking about superior rectus. So the tertiary action is adduction. So the least amount of movement that the superior rectus will do would be adduction. So the main action or primary action is elevation, a little bit of in torsion that is secondary action and the least bit is adduction all right so adduction is along this axis correct so that is what is meant by primary secondary and tertiary actions so now when we talk about the other question that is in which gaze would you test a particular muscle or which is the best action or the exclusive action of a particular muscle so that is based on the anatomy of the muscle right okay so primary secondary tertiary also is because of the anatomy of the muscle now this is exclusively because of the anatomy okay so for example if you're going to ask in which gaze would you test the superior oblique muscle now why would i want to check only the superior oblique very very uh, i mean a sensible question right because if i have a trochlear nerve palsy i'm going to have a superior oblique palsy correct so i want to check only the superior oblique now for that i should know the exclusive action of the superior oblique so the exclusive action of superior oblique is it does depression of an adducted eye because when you adduct the eye the superior oblique and the eyeball are in line with each other or they are parallel to each other so in that case it will be only the superior oblique acting on that eye right and that action would be depression is that clear so please listen superior oblique is not doing the adduction it is only doing depression of an adducted eye is that clear so similarly if i'm going to check that of an inferior oblique the exclusive action of inferior oblique on that would be that on an adducted eye so i adduct the eye first and then ask the patient to look up because the exclusive action of inferior oblique is elevation of an ad adducted eye is that clear so this has got nothing to do with the tertiary actions of the obliques because you know the tertiary action of oblique is abduction right it's abduction because i suddenly forgot what i was talking about superior rectus when i was talking to you okay so superior oblique so superior oblique on adducted eye it's going to do depression inferior oblique on an adducted eye it is going to do elevation so what does that adduction obviously the medial rectus would have done it is that clear so please do not confuse this with the tertiary action now coming to the recti now recti you know the tertiary action is adduction but if you're going to check the exclusive action it would be on an abducted eye. So on an abducted eye, superior rectus would do elevation, inferior rectus would do depression. Is that clear? Whereas their tertiary action or the least bit of movement that it would do would be adduction. Clear? The recti. So please keep that concept of primary, secondary, tertiary actions aside. And when you're talking about in which direction or in which gaze you need to check a particular muscle, that's different. Is that clear? So that's based on the anatomy. That is the position of the eyeball in which the axis of the eyeball and the axis of the muscle are in line with each other or parallel to each other. Is that clear? So for obliques, that would be the adducted eye. For the recti, that would be the abducted eye. I hope this video is making sense to all of you. Okay, so please make sure you get the concept right so that the question becomes easier, right, to answer. 
ओके गाइस